The verdict came at 9.35 this evening. The timing surprised almost everyone as Judge Edward Coward had indicated he did not expect a quick decision. This is the way it happened. Just six and a half hours after Judge Edward Coward handed the case to the jury, the 12-member panel returned with a verdict. They found Theodore Bundy guilty on all seven counts of burglary, murder, and attempted murder. With the jury, I'm on the Bay County Flag, it's 24th of July, A.D., 1979, found the defendant, the Dale Robert Bundy, as to count 12 the indictment, murder in the first degree upon one Margaret Bowman, guilty as charged, so said he all. Throughout the clerk's reading of the verdict, Bundy showed little reaction. Outside the courtroom, the chief prosecuting attorney, Larry Simpson, said he was not surprised at the quick verdict. Turned it for you? No, I don't. I, I think it was all the evidence that was presented in this case. It was uh, not just the, the dental evidence. It was the positive eyewitness testimony that was presented. We were very disappointed in the verdict. You surprised? Yes, we were very surprised. What's, what's your plan? I don't know what the turning point was. Right now, we've got to regroup and get ready for the second phase. We need to go over to the jail and talk to Ted, and that's where we're headed right now. Needless to say, I, I think the jury is totally wrong. They didn't take enough time. Now, how could you consider all those momentous decisions in six hours? It's just, it's just impossible. It's wrong. We'll appeal it. it it's just, <laughs> what else can I say? We, uh, the family will be devastated by this, but we stick behind him because we know he's not guilty, as do all his friends. The verdict came just moments after Bundy talked with reporters by telephone about the possibility of being found guilty. Ted, are you prepared for a guilty verdict? Yes, I, I think so. I've, it's never happened to me like quite this way before. I've never been convicted of murder before, and I, 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 I hope and pray I won't be. But if it happens, then I, I just have to work with it. I, I say perhaps one of the things that I'm that I'm using to prepare myself for that possibility is that I, I believe that if I am convicted, that I have an excellent uh, case for appeal. Earlier, Theodore Bundy had said he believed that there would be a mistrial, that the jury would not be able to reach a decision. Sentencing is set for this Saturday. It is expected that Bundy will be given the death penalty. Reporting live from the Channel 4 Newsroom, I'm Robin Lloyd.